Good morning, everybody, and welcome to our Friday session. It's lovely to have you here. So this is your 30 minutes of live Pilates, and today we're doing arms and abs, and we're going to finish with a lovely stretch at the end. Okay, so we're going to do the chat after, so I'm just going to give you a little wave hello and say, right, let's get started. If you want to stick around for the chat, I will do that after we've done our 30-minute workout session okay so let us begin you're going to come and stand and we are going to start standing today so standing on your mat and i'm going to give you two options you can either just do the arm work or you can add the leg work as well so i like to always try and do a little bit of work with the legs so it's entirely up to you so first thing i'm going to do is have those feet hip widths apart and we're going to be doing if you want to add the legs little bends of the knees on the movement okay and the movement is you're going to inhale raise the arms to shoulder height exhale to lower so it looks like this inhale and exhale inhale and exhale good so little bend and up bend and up four and four three two one now you're going to hold it here take the arms out to the side and straighten okay and then the arms are going to come down so we're going to inhale exhale so arms just to shoulder height all right let's think about pulling those tummy muscles in so we are using our core as well good and we're gonna go four three two one now we're going to bend the knees bring the arms forward straighten take them out to the side and lower so it's bend straighten low and again you can just do the arms if you want to or you can add this work for the legs good now, all times we want our shoulders down okay so this is all about working the upper body so not just the arms but the shoulders the upper back three two one let's reverse it so going out to the side and lower that's it good quite a lot of work isn't it with the legs as well you've got to really keep that brain switched on we're going to do four more three two one well done and then from here we're going to bend the knees and we are just going to tip forward slightly we're going to have the arms down and keeping them straight we're going to take them back little pulses up two three four five six seven eight again two two three four five six seven keep going Tom is in here two three four five six seven eight last time two three four five six seven eight come on up okay so now we're going to bring those arms up we're going to turn the palms up and we are going to do bicep curls so you can add the knee bends to this as well this time we're keeping the arm here okay so the elbow doesn't lower bend and straighten then and straighten that's it Good, and four, three. Now your challenge is not to let your arms drop, okay? Now I want you to make a fist, really tense those arms. You're gonna feel how this activates you under here. And then we're gonna go again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, coming out now you're going to take the arms out to the side all right we're going to make a fist here and what i want you to do now is to take your feet wide all right if you want to work those legs little bend of the knees and you're just going to stay in this position bend 
and straighten with those arms. All right, so the idea we're clenching that fist because that really does get into the arms. As you can see when I do it, that's it. And we're gonna go four, three, two, one, reach those arms out and open the hands. Now you're gonna draw little circles. You're gonna go up and round. Two, three, four, five, six. You should be feeling this in your shoulders as well as your upper arms. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well done. Let's go the other way, coming forward. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, and two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Keep the arms up, see if you can go into a deeper plie now. All right, and we're going to bend the arms, we're gonna bring them forward once again. So this time we're going to open, lift, down and close. Open, lift, you see it's a little lift of those elbows. Open, lift, you're gonna feel this in your upper arms. Lift, down and close. And if you want, you can go lower to work those legs at the same time. That's it, and back. Open, lift, and back. Open, lift and back and open lift and back now bring the hands in front and just do little lifts here lift 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 very good keep going if you can lift lift five six seven and eight well done bring those arms down let's come on up let's roll those shoulders out so going back for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Oh, clicky shoulder. Can you hear that? <laughs> 2, 1. Well done. Okay, shake those arms out. Really nice work there. Okay, so we're going to come down onto the floor for the next segment. So you're going to come to the end of your mat. Make sure you've got your tummy pulled in. Okay, we're gonna take a deep breath in. We're gonna breathe out, take the chin to the chest, bend your knees and really pull in on that tummy as you come down towards the floor. Okay, and then from there, you're gonna put your hands on the floor, keep the tummy pulled in, walking forward, walking forward, walking forward, and we're gonna come into a position where our knees are just floating above the floor. Elbows pointing back. Now pull your tummy in, pull that belly button in. I want you to do a little bend of the elbows and straighten. Bend and straighten. Bend and straighten. So we're doing little triceps and core. Three, two, one, now lift up and stretch everything out. Push the weight back towards your feet. Lower your heels for a nice stretch there. Good, now you're gonna come on up. And what I want you to do with your hands is try and make a triangle. So you're gonna bring your hands towards each other. Your thumbs are gonna to touch and your index fingers. So you're making a triangle shape, okay? Now bend your knees and come down to your knee float position. All right, now bend the elbows. So holding the body still, just bending the elbows. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Lift up, place your hands back in the regular position so you can go into your up stretch. It's a challenge, isn't it? We keep smiling through, but I know this is tricky. So we're gonna come down, we're gonna do one more set into our knee float position, but let's take the hands wide. Okay, so almost outside your mat. Have the knees floating, have your back nice and strong. And now just bend the elbows 
and straighten. You don't have to go all the way down, okay? Because just holding your weight is working your arms, your upper body, your core. And we're gonna go three, two, one, and just rest those feet down. Well done, come back and just take yourself down into your rest position. All right, if you want to, you can bring your hands down by your side and head down. Let's take some deep breaths there. Well done. Unrolling your spine, very good. We've done over 10 minutes on the arms already, so excellent. Now let's come and lie down. In fact, I shall go this way. All the way down onto your mat. Let's do a little bit of core work now, shall we? Okay, so we're lying down nice and flat here across the abdominal. So you're checking you're in your neutral position. Hip bones and pubic bone aligned. And now let's interlace the fingers, take the hands behind the head, open the elbows, and I want you to float your right leg up. Okay, and you're gonna keep it in that position. You're gonna keep your spine nice and still. You're gonna take a breath in, and as you breathe out, you're gonna lift the head and chest up to look towards that knee. Inhale to lower. So you're gonna exhale, lift. Inhale, lower, lift, and lower, lift, and lower, good, for four, three, two, one, now stay up, let's pull the tummy and see if we can bring that left leg up as well, and then take the right leg down. Same thing in this position. So we inhale to lower, we exhale to lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Lower and lift. Four, three, two, one, well done. Take that leg down, bring the right leg back up, and this time I want you to rotate towards that right knee and come back. So you're gonna stay up and we're gonna try and rotate. Think of the left elbow going towards the right knee. So we're gonna do a little rotation and back. And that good. Four, three, two, one. Coming back, take that leg down. Let's lift the other leg up. Same thing on this side. So right elbow towards the left knee. And back. Reach. And back. Reach. And that good. Four more, four, four, three, two, one. Well done, take that leg down, bring that chest down. And let's just hug the knees into the chest for a moment. Just to give you a little release in that spine. So take a breath in, exhale, curling the knees towards you, inhale to release. Exhale to pull the knees towards you and release. And one more. And release. Well done. Okay, so from there, bring yourself up to sitting. And let's have the knees bent and the hands back behind you. You want your fingers pointing outwards. And if you've got the flexibility, you can have the fingers pointing towards you like this. Okay, and I want you to really feel nice and open in the chest. Eye line forward. You're going to take a breath in. And as you breathe out, press into the feet and the hands and start to lift those hips up. 
We're trying to come all the way up. So this strengthens the shoulders as well as works the core and inhale to lower down. Good. So you're going to exhale to lift. And inhale to lower. Exhale to lift. So pressing into the feet, feeling those hips lift up, feeling the chest open. And lower. We're going to do one more. Exhale to lift. And inhale, coming down. Well done. All right. So from here, let's have the legs out in front. So if you're comfortable with the legs straight, let's straighten them now. Otherwise, you can keep them bent. Let's do our roll-ups. So we're going to take our arms out in front. Make sure shoulders are down. Sitting up nice and tall. You're going to take a breath in. You're going to breathe out, pulling in, tucking under and coming back as far as you can. If you can go to the floor, please do. Then you're going to inhale to move the arms, head and chest. Exhale, this is where the core comes in, pulling in here and keep pulling in as you go over. So you want to feel there's a kind of resistance here. All right, and then we're going to come back up, nice straight spine. So you're going to exhale, tucking under, coming back. Arms overhead. Inhale to move your arms, head and chest. And exhale to come up. Good. Deep breath in. And exhale, coming back. And arms overhead. Inhale to move the arms, head and chest. And exhale to come up. Good. Deep breath in. Exhale, coming down. Arms overhead. Inhale. Exhale to come up one more time. Deep breath in and exhale, coming down. That's it. And arms overhead. Inhale. And exhale. Well done. Now you're going to come all the way back down to the floor. All right. And we're going to do a little bit of work on the hips and the core here. Okay. So take your arms out to the side. I want you to bend both legs and lift them up. And we're going to extend as far as you're comfortable going. Okay. And then from here, I want you to bend the knees at tabletop, keep your feet together and open those knees as wide as you can and then bring them back. You're going to open and bring them back. So we're staying very stable here on the core, open and back, open and back, good. Open and back. Now you're going to open, stay in that position. That's like a diamond position, isn't it there? And then I want you to flex your feet, keeping your heels together. Now at this point, I'm going to recommend you put your hands across your hip bones so you can just feel what has, what's happening with your pelvis. So we're going to inhale, bend the knees a little more. And as you exhale, pulling in here and extending the legs out, pointing the toes. So you're going to inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. Good. Inhale, bend. Exhale, extend. We'll do one more. Bend. Extend. Now keep pulling in, lift the legs up, and we're going to do circles now. So don't go too low, okay? Only as low as you can control this core. So we're going to lower down, circle both legs out to the side, and up. Lower, out, and up. Lower, out, and up. Lower, out, and up. Lower, out, and up. Lower, out and up. One more. Lower, out and up. Let's reverse it the other way. So we're going to go open, down, out and up. 
Inhale, open, exhale, up. Inhale, open. So trying to stay really still here. You should really feel these core muscles working to keep your pelvis in position. We're going to go three, two, and one. Well done. Now turn the legs out at the top. Now let's open as far as they will go and bring them back together. Open and return. Open and return. Open and return. Good. Two more. And return and open and return. Well done. Bend those knees. Bring those legs down. Let's do a little pelvic curl now, just to release the front of the body. So take a breath in, exhale, tilt the pelvis, and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold, and exhale to come all the way back down. Deep breath in, exhale to tilt, and roll that spine up. Inhale to hold and exhale to come back down. So remember when we do our pelvic curls, as we lift, we're trying to find a moment where we've got a straight line all the way through the front of the body here. Inhale and exhale as you come down. One more, deep breath in and exhale, lifting up. Inhale to hold and exhale to come all the way down. Well done. Okay, so from there, you're gonna come onto your side. Okay, and we're gonna be on the elbow. And if you can, I would like you to have your legs straight and crossed. We are gonna be lifting up. So if that's too much for your shoulder, you can do a modified version of the exercise with your knees bent, okay? If you're able to have them out, then please do. Let's check those hips are stacked. So this is working the core all around here, as well as the shoulders. Press down into that elbow, and let's have the hand on the hip. We're gonna lift up and lower down. Lift up and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and hold. Let's open that arm up. And if you can, the bottom leg, you're going to bring it through, point it, and take it back. Oh, that's a challenge, isn't it? Through, point, and take it back. Should we try one more? Through, point, and whoopsie daisy, and take it back. Well done. Come on down and let's go to the other side. As you can see, I don't always get it right either. Okay, so legs extended, one on top of the other. Let's get those hips stacked, hand on the hip. We're gonna press up and lower down. Press up and lower down. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Lift and lower, lift and hold. Take the arm up, bottom leg's gonna come through and take it back. Through and take it back. And through and take it back. Well done. Come on down. Excellent work, everyone. Doing really, really well. Let's come back down, line our backs. And we're going to do lower part of the core. Okay, so what we're going to do here is lift the legs up. We're going to think about right down here, really low, lower abdominals, pelvic floor. You're going to interlace your fingers. Take your hands behind your head. Okay, and then you're going to breathe out and try and pull the tummy in and see if you can peel your hips off the floor and lower down. Exhale, pulling in and lower down. Exhale, pulling in 
and lower down. If you want more of a challenge, you can lift your chest up as well and lower down. Lift and lower down. Lift and lower down and lift and lower down. Now you're going to pull your right knee in towards you, lower that left leg. We're going to exhale, we're going to switch the legs and switch and switch and switch and four, three, two, one. Now if you want to make it a little more challenging, take your hands and I want you to press against that leg as you pull it in. Okay, so you've got a little bit of resistance, a bit of resistance, a bit of resistance. So you can, whoa, you can really feel that. If you lower the leg down, you will feel it even more. Four, four, three, two, one. Bring those knees in and rest yourself down. All right, wonderful stuff. Let's come on up. And let's do a nice little stretch. So I'm going to face you for this one. You're going to put your right foot forward. In fact, I'll go on the, uh, I'll go on the side here. It's probably easier for you. Right foot forward. Left leg bent. Hopefully you can see my position there. All right. And we want this leg nice and straight. Hands to the side. And you're just going to walk down. So we're going into our little stretch section now. All the core work is over reaching forward. If you can, you're going to reach, hold on to the leg, the foot, and you're just going to gently take yourself down towards that leg, finding a stretch, taking a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, see if you can bring yourself a little deeper into the stretch. Inhale. And exhale. One more deep breath in and exhale. Good. And slowly coming back up. Let's change legs. Okay, so we've got that foot against the thigh. We're just letting that knee drop out. So you're getting that nice stretch in the hip. Okay, sitting up nice and tall. And then you're gonna walk forward. Walk forward, walk forward, that's it. Taking hold wherever you can reach. I don't know about you, but this feels lovely on the lower back, this one. So take a deep breath in. Exhale, gently coming down. Inhale, little release. Exhale. Coming down one more. Inhale, little release. And exhale. Coming down, well done, come on up. And then from here, let's bring the bottom of the feet together. Okay, oops, my mic's just dropped out. Let's just click that back on. Okay, so we're gonna bring bottom of the feet together. That's it. Holding onto your ankles. And then when you're ready, you're gonna take a breath in. And as you breathe out, you're gonna start to lean forward. Let's get those elbows and gently Gently press down on those knees, trying to find the stretch in your hips. Inhale, little release. Exhale, pressing down. Inhale, little release. One more. Exhale, pressing down. Good. And then from there, you're going to get your right leg and you're going to bring it in towards you. So you can tuck the other leg underneath you. Now you can either have the leg here or if you're able, you can take it right over the other leg. Okay. Then you're going to bring that left arm around. We're going to get this sit bone down on the floor and you're going to hug this knee in towards you. This hand's going to go back. You're going to lift up. And then we're going to try and rotate. So you're using this arm, rotating to look behind you. Good. 
Good, and then let's change sides. So bringing this foot in, and then this foot comes to here, or it can go over. You're just gonna rest this sit bone down. Okay, now bring this hand around, first of all, lift up through the spine, take your arm behind you, and then we're going to lift, and we're gonna rotate. Good. Coming back and then just sitting however you can. You can sit on a cushion if you want to. And then from here, we're going to bring the arm. We're just going to take it across like so and just give it a gentle stretch. That's it. Now bend the elbow and bring the arm up behind your head like so. And with the other hand, you're going to take hold of that elbow and you're going to just give it a nice stretch. That's it. And if you want to, you can add a side stretch as well, which feels rather lovely, I have to say. Good. Come on up, you do the same thing on the other side. So bring this arm around, shoulder down, and you're just pulling that arm towards you. If you're getting a stretch in the shoulder. Well done, now bend the elbow, take the arm behind your head, reach over with the other hand, that's it. And then take hold of it and give yourself that stretch. And if you want to, you can add the side stretch as well. Well done, coming up. Let's roll those shoulders out and let's just finish with a gentle tilt of the head. And then you're going to take the head down, circling down, and take it over to the other side, all the way back. And let's go the other way, take it over, down, around, and back once more each way, down. Around and back and over, down, around and back. Bring that head up and thank you very much indeed for joining me today. So that's your 30 minutes of Pilates. We did arms, lots of arms and shoulders, lots of upper body core and we had a lovely stretch at the end we also got in quite a lot of leg and hip work so hopefully you enjoyed it do press the like button do subscribe and if you want to stick around for the chat that's what i'm going to do now okay everybody i hope that was all right for you today we did a little variation on my normal pilates uh, just to give you a little bit something a little bit different so i hope you enjoyed it do let me know what you thought in the comments below because i'm always looking uh for good ideas and things that you kind of want and that you need uh Birgit, good morning Birgit. uh wow oh so it was a challenging one for you i think that's what you were going to say Yes, did make it quite challenging on the upper body today. That was kind of deliberate just to try and really get that strength in the upper body. Oh, my husband's just come through with some notes. Thank you, dear. All right. Thank you very much, everyone. Now, before uh, you do go, there is something I do want to tell you is that I did a tally up of all the money that we raised last week for the Poppy Appeal. And uh, my target was £500. And I'm delighted, thrilled to say that thanks to all of you, we've raised £937.99. Uh, and the video will keep earning money. So the one I did from last week, all the money from that, I will transfer over 
to the poppy appeal. So hopefully that will go up. You never know, we might get to our target of a thousand, which would be amazing. Uh, but yeah, so I pretty much doubled my original target. So I'm very happy with that. So thank you all of you for donating. And as always, thank you for coming every week because I really enjoy these classes with you. Okay, so we're going to go down through the chat. I can see some feedback coming, which is great. Penelope McLeod says, oh, my arms really felt the first few minutes. Yes, we did quite a lot in the first few minutes for all around here, under here, and the biceps. As you can see, I don't do any weights. I only do uh, body weight work, such as we did today. Uh, morning, Birgit. I can see you've just put a message up. Wow, this was a killer. Even with my Pilates experience, I will save this video to my light videos as I'll have to work on this one. Oh, thank you, Birgit. Well, it's lovely to see you come up today. And yeah, I do like to throw in things every now and then to kind of throw us all. As you can see, even with me, I struggled on one of the exercises today. So that's a little note to me that there's a little few things I need to work on as well. So there we go. Um, anyway, I'm going to whiz to the top of the chat and uh, just do my hello. So hello to Lily Mars. Hi, Lily. Um, I'm sorry you can't make today's class live, but it's lovely for you to leave a message for us all. We send our best to you and uh, I'll see you live next week. Thank you very much. Kathy Freeman uh, says, left arm is not feeling so great after my booster. Ah, uh, yes, I'll be catching up tomorrow. That makes sense. I've actually got my COVID uh, booster jab tomorrow. Uh, so, yes, hopefully we'll feel OK after that. Yvonne Thorpe has donated. Thank you very much for your donation today, Yvonne. Uh, Yvonne says, looking forward to today's class. Well done, Rachel, on the amount you raise for the Royal British Legion with a thumbs up and a smiley emoji. Thank you, Yvonne. I'm really, really pleased that we did that. It's just it's really nice. It's the first sort of big thing I've ever done for charity. I've always given to um, charity. There's a few charities that I do donate to, but I've never tried to do a fundraiser of my own. So I feel very uh, encouraged by that. And I'm very thankful to you all for, for helping. So Josie Briggs, Josie, good morning says, I better get my kit on and the mat rolled out. Well, I hope you got dressed in time there. Um, Leslie Matin. Good morning, Leslie. I'm so glad to be joined. This is what Leslie says. I'm so glad to be joining live today. Looking forward. Oops. Oh, I've lost you. There we go. Sorry, it jumps up my chat every now and then. I lose my place. Uh, looking forward to the session after sweeping up the leaves in the garden. Well, hopefully your arms are really feeling that now, uh, Leslie. And Leslie says, well done, Rachel, for the amount you raised last week for the British Legion. Thank you very much, Leslie. Carlin Hawkren, good morning, Carlin, over in the States. Up nice and early, and Carla says, Missed last week with a knee injury that I'm still on crutches on. I'll give my best. Sorry, I missed last week, but we're still able to donate to the cause. You did indeed. Thank you very much, Carla. And I did see your donation, uh, so thank you for that. And hopefully, you managed to do certainly the beginning of class, all that arm work, because you can do all of that in chair as well if you want to. Um, so hopefully that worked for you. And I do wish you all the best with your knee. I hope it gets better soon. Uh, Anne Butler uh, has sent a lovely emoji. Oh, that's the first time you managed to stick up, Anne. Well done. Brilliant sticker. Love it. Thank you very much for your donation, Anne. Uh, getting very techy, aren't we? We're doing really well. Uh, Leslie Martin, thank you very much for your donation, Leslie, and your lovely sticker as well. That's really cute. Love it. Good morning to Ruth Enright. Hello, Ruth. Good morning to you and a hiya to you. I love your emoji. Thank you very much for donating for today's class. Much appreciated. It's lovely seeing all these familiar faces, I have to say. And Cheryl Allen has donated today with a lovely sticker. I love that. Very cute. Thank you very much, Cheryl, for your donation. Much appreciated. 
Uh, okay, and then going down the chat, we have Penelope McLeod. Good morning, Penelope. Good morning to Margaret Scott. Margaret says, good morning, everyone, from a drizzly Somerset. I'm expecting daughter and grandsons to come soon, so may not be able to do the whole session. Well, not to worry. Maybe to get your daughter to do it with you later, Margaret. That could be fun. Uh, okay, wonderful stuff. So going down the chat, Millie E. Good morning, Millie. How are you, Millie? Are you well? I hope so. And uh, says, good morning, everyone. So glad to be able to do the live session with you all. Well, it's lovely to have you here as well, Millie. And you're here. There are a hundred of us together online at the moment. There was just over 120 in the class uh, earlier. So uh, you are amongst many Pilates friends. Uh, lovely to have you here. Margaret Scott, thank you very much for your donation, Margaret. That's much appreciated. Judy Buxton, good morning, Judy in Chiswick. Lovely to have you here. Hope you enjoyed that session. Quite a strong one today on the arms. I have to say, I'm feeling that. I can feel it in my arms and shoulders as well. Um, so definitely, if you felt that that was a real challenge, it's definitely, as Birgit said earlier, a good one to add to your favorites list and do again uh, for get those arms going. Um, okay, good morning to Renata Lovestad. Thank you very much, Renata, for your donation. I think you're in Norway, is that right? Looks like Norway, I think. Norwegian Krona, I think that's right. So thank you. Lovely to have you here. Uh, Margaret Scott says, only done half of exercise as visitors came, but we'll do this workout later. Have a good week, everyone. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you, Margaret. And then we have below Margaret, I can see there's a Natalie Hanau. I hope that's the right pronunciation. Good morning, Natalie. Natalie says, my arms were burning just watching the first segment. Friday, 8 p.m. here on the Gold Coast in Australia. We'll be sure to do this on the weekend. Thank you, Rachel. You're an inspiration. Oh, Natalie, thank you very much. And hello to you on the Gold Coast in Australia. I'm sure it's very, very warm out there now because you're going into your summer, aren't you? Is that right? We're going into our winter. It's very cold here. So outside the door, it's a little bit frosty here. Um, but it's lovely to have you, Natalie. And yes, it is quite an arm burn. That's what I wanted to kind of do today, which is not necessarily traditional in Pilates, but I think sometimes it's nice to kind of spin things a little, give you something different. So I hope you enjoy doing that on the weekend. Uh, Linda Verney Thompson, good morning, Linda. Lovely to have you here. Says, hi, everyone. I hope you're all well. I can't do it live this week as I'm at work, but I'm looking forward to giving it a go later. No problem, Linda. And thank you for taking some time out of work uh, to let us know you can't make it. It's lovely to know that you're there. Um, and as Cohen said, it might look a little odd if you're doing this at work because you could be sitting at your desk, couldn't you, doing all your arm work like this. <laughs> there we go. All right. So it's lovely to have you here. And I do hope you enjoy this session, Linda. Uh, Carlin Hawkins says, thank you so much. That was super easy to modify for my bad knee. Oh, good. I'm glad that you could work that out, Carlin, because it's nice, isn't it, when you've got an injury, if you feel you can at least do some kind of exercise. I always think it feels, you feel better in mind and body, don't you? So well done for adapting it. And yes, I'm glad you like the idea that at the beginning you could kind of do that sitting down, couldn't you? So all good. Ruth Enright. Hello, Ruth. Ruth says, it's getting harder, but great change for variety and challenge. Good. Yeah, because that's what I want to kind of do, Ruth, is I think for myself as well, I think I always have to be mindful, or I have always been, to be honest, mindful of not resting in my comfort zone. Because to grow physically in strength, 
as well as emotionally and mentally in strength, you've got to keep challenging yourself and putting yourself slightly out of your comfort zone. Not so far that it's terrifying or it's scary, but you've got to take that step into the, the next adventure, if you like. So that's why every now and then I really switch things up here. It's to keep me on my toes, to keep you on your toes, and also to show you that there's always something more you can do, yeah? Uh, and that's why we do it. So thank you very much, everyone, for taking on this challenge today. And if, like Birgit, you found it a challenge, then don't forget to bookmark it make it one of your favorites and do it again. Uh, I'm going to be doing it again, that's for sure. In fact, I might even add this into my classes because I think it's quite a challenge on the upper body. Okay, so uh, going down, Corina Perry says, hi from Mallorca. Hello, Corina. Lovely to have you here. Penelope McLeod in Chiswick says, oh, my arms really felt the first few minutes. It's a good one, isn't it, Penelope? Um, nice to do some arm work, I feel. I really, I really enjoy feeling that little burn in the arms. Uh, Ruth says, fantastic success. Thank you, Ruth. I'm very chuffed with our fundraiser. And Birgit, yes, I think I've read. Oopsie Daisy, now my chat's jumped. Wow, there's hundreds of messages just come in. Goodness me. Um, Carlin says, fabulous number for the cause. Uh, Birgit, I'm just reminding everyone, she is saving it to her favorite. So make sure you do if you want to get that arm strength going. Uh, Chloe Brown. Hi, Chloe. She says, yes, I was surprised how much it got the arms at the beginning. Yeah. And you know what, Chloe, that's my modified one because I only did about eight minutes. Um, but I am planning to film an arm workout that's going to be like that, but a little bit longer. So um, yeah, you might want to keep an eye out for that one. Um, okay, really glad you liked it though. And it's funny, isn't it? I think when I do um, any kind of dance uh, classes, I used to teach a class called Pop to the Bar in London, which was ballet type exercises, but it's a pop music. And I used to do a lot of holds with the arms. And you can see by the shape of my arms, all that kind of shaping is from having to hold your arms in a certain position. And it really does target all the upper arms under here, round here and all around the shoulders. So super duper for our upper bodies. Uh, and it just goes to show that you don't have to use weights to get that kind of nice toned look in your bodies. I don't work with weights, I can do, uh, but generally I like to do my own body weight or like today, that kind of work where you're having to hold your arms up all the time. And even though you're moving them, you're still using other muscles to keep the arm in the air. And as you can see, you can see the kind of the way it shapes the arm. So um, yeah, really glad you liked it. Okay, so going down, uh, Janet Lowland says, that was a bit challenging this morning. Thanks, Rachel Cohen and Boo. Karina says, feeling it in the arms. Thank you very much. Yvonne says, the floor exercises were more challenging for me today. Yeah, Yvonne, I did make them very challenging. Um, so maybe that's something to go back, give it a few days, and then go back and try again. I would say it was, a, it was definitely a kind of intermediate level uh, class on the core work today, particularly having to hold the legs and do like the circles and all that kind of stuff. Okay, but if it gets too much and you do want to go back and give it another go, you can always do things like that one leg at a time. Yeah, because one thing that I know a lot of you do now and you're really good at is modifying things to suit you, particularly if you're managing injuries or conditions. Uh, okay, so you can always do that. But yeah, if you find any of my workouts really challenging, that's a sign that there's an area of your body you need to work on, you need to strengthen. So without making it really too much, 
give it a few days and then go back and do it again because it's that consistency and that repetition of the exercises that will build the strength in those areas that you need, okay? And what I tend to do is I alternate the areas where I know I have to work on that maybe is not my favorite with workouts that I really enjoy, you know? So you get a nice mix during the week of things that you love and things that you also need. And that combination I find works very well. Uh, Millie e says, loved that workout, thanks. Have you got any stretches for tight forearms, please? Oh, that's a really good question, Millie. Uh, tight forearms, so that's here, yeah? And that's quite a hard area to get to, but the best is to do kind of wrist flexor work. So um, a lot of people get this to work on computers as well. Uh, obviously, you can massage, which is always good when your muscles are tight. Can you see what I'm doing? Is pinching through the forearms through the muscle there. That does really, really help. You can do the same on the other side, just between the thumb and the index finger. Um, but if you take the arm out and then you take the wrist back like so, and then just gently, I'm very flexible. So don't think you have to get to where I am. As you can see, I'm hypermobile. Uh, but you can then here, this will stretch your rest, wrist uh, flexors, but it will also kind of go into this area. You can also do it the other way, like so, and bring it back. So I feel more of a stretch going that way. And then things where you are just circling the wrists are really good as well. Okay. It's quite a hard area to get to, isn't it? The forearm. But I think anything where you're kind of reaching out, taking the arms behind you, you know, like we did in the class today where we were sitting with the arms back and then lifting the body up. All that stretches through the upper body, the chest and the arms. Uh, you can also try taking the arms behind you uh, with the fingers interlaced. That will stretch your shoulders, but you will get that a little bit through the arms. You can also change the position of the hands and see if that gets to where you need it. So I hope that helps, Millie. Uh, Cheryl Allen says, wow, that's fantastic, Rachel. Well done, everyone. Great workout, but few ones I fell over, uh, but we'll do that one again. Okay, not to worry, Cheryl. As you can see, I lost my balance on one, so I know there's something I'm going to work on uh, that we did today as well. Caroline Ford. Hello, Caroline. How are you? So it's definitely a tricky one today, but always good to be challenged. Well done for the fundraising, Rachel. Such a good cause. Thank you, Caroline. Much appreciated. And yeah, it was a bit of a tricky one today. I try to throw in some things to kind of put us all slightly in a spin because I think it's good to kind of wake ourselves up and challenge ourselves every now and then. So yes, really glad you enjoyed it. Josie Briggs. Thank you, Josie, for your donation. Josie says, challenging and enjoyable. I will feel it in my arms tomorrow. Yeah, I know I will as well because I can feel it in my shoulders just now as I'm sitting here. They're all lovely and warm. Rona Stevens. Hello, Rona. Thank you very much for your donation. Your lovely super sticker. Very, very cute. Um, okay, going down. Uh, Caroline Ford has donated. Thank you very much, Caroline. Lovely sticker there. Much appreciated. Sandy McClure, good morning, Sandy. Lovely to have you here. And Sandy says, well done on achieving your target. Exhausting session as usual. Okay, Sandy. Uh, well, well done, Sandy. You keep coming back, don't you? And you keep doing it. So good. And you know what? The best thing about doing this on a Friday morning is once it's done, that's it. It's Friday. So you have the weekend tomorrow to enjoy and your, all your work is done. So well done. Uh, Natalie Hanau has donated. Thank you very much. All the way from Gold Coast, Australia. Thank you, Natalie. And I love your super sticker. That's really cute. Thank you very much indeed. Helen Lees. Hello, Helen. Lovely to see you here. Helen says, well done. What a fantastic total for the poppy appeal. I know, I can't believe it. We've got £937.97. 
99 pence and that will go up as well so i'm so happy about that um and thank you helen because i know you've donated as well and helen goes on to say that was a challenge today great workout on side lift i couldn't get my lower leg through we'll have to work on it thanks rachel yeah that's a real challenge that one helen so uh yeah it's keeping that just a little see if I can go back and do it. Uh, let me go this way. When you're doing that, you have to obviously use your shoulder muscles a lot. So you're up in the air. But if we let go at all in our shoulder stability, then we're not going to be able to lift that leg. So a little tip is to think about bearing down, pressing into that elbow so you can feel your shoulder stability because then you can lift your leg up and take it through yeah because your shoulder's stable so that's actually a sign of shoulders needing stabilizing rather than it being an issue with the leg yeah so have a look at that and the best way to build the shoulder stability is to do what we did first which is just the lift and lower this will gradually build up that strength, keeping the shoulder away from the ear as you lift, and then you can stabilize and again, bring it through and take it back. All right, and as you could see, I had to work on my stability a little bit on the left side, which I will be doing. Uh, good, so well done, Helen, well done indeed. Caroline says, uh, morning, oh, morning to Kerwin, hope the booster goes okay, yes. Uh, we do have our boosters, my husband and I, tomorrow. So we're hoping we're going to feel all right after that. Carol Neath has donated. Hello, Carol. Thank you very much for your donation and your lovely sticker. Moira Roberts says, very much enjoyed, Rachel. Uh, this is Moira Roberts in Aberdeen, Scotland. Good morning, doggy. Is my little doggy coming in. Good morning, boo. Good morning. Do you want to say hello? You want to go sit down? You go in your chair. She's just hanging around on the floor at the moment, rolling around. Okay. Uh, so, Moira, good morning to you in Aberdeen. I hope your weather's okay up there. And you're glad to hear you enjoyed the session today. Thanks so much for joining us, Moira. And then going down, uh, Carol Nee says, great challenge this morning. Arms are feeling it already. Yes. And then Natalie in Australia says, uh, pleasure, Kerwin. Rachel is the best personal trainer I've had. Oh, Natalie, bless you. Thank you. I do at least one session a day thanks to her wonderful work. Thank you so much, Natalie. That's really lovely to hear. Going down the chat, I can see Tiona in France is with us. Good morning, Tiona. And Tiona says, really a challenge keeping the knees floating. Had to place them down. Yeah, the knee floats are very challenging, uh, but I will work on it. Thank you, Rachel, for all your good work. You are very, very welcome. Uh, Millie E. Oh, Millie, this is interesting. Millie says, I'm a piano teacher and playing really aggravates my forearm muscles. So that was really helpful. Thank you. Ah, that's really good to know, uh, Millie. So I think for you... Obviously, you're doing this a lot and tensing through those forearms. So I think for you, Millie, a mixture of the flexor stretches, the wrist stretches, the circles of the wrist, and but just some nice massage down through that arm or those arms will really help because obviously you're back. it makes sense to me now. Now I know you're a piano teacher where that tension is coming from because you're in a certain position, aren't you? And I can already feel that in my forearm. So yeah, I would say definitely give them a massage and that will really help. And keep the wrists moving um, because obviously you do get a lot of work in the fingers and that will create tension all through these tendons and into the wrist. So I think getting the blood flow going will help as well. But um, how wonderful that you're a piano teacher. That's lovely to know, Millie. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, Moira says, couldn't get the legs through properly, drag them along the floor. Yes, Moira. So hopefully you saw the tip I just gave Helen 
That's totally understandable. And that is not a leg issue. It's a upper body strength issue. Um, and it's interesting, isn't it, how these things kind of work because people think, oh, I can't move my leg. But your leg will move when your upper body is strong enough to support the weight of your body. And let, let's also let me be very honest with you. That is an incredibly challenging exercise for any age, anybody. I mean, even fitness trainers, it's a cha very very challenging exercise. So please don't anyone, any of you guys out there think, oh God, I couldn't do that. Oh dear. It's really, really hard to do. So the fact that you tried it, that you got some of the way, you managed one or you managed, you couldn't quite move the leg, but you held yourself up. All that is a sign of real strength in your body is okay. So don't be down on yourselves about it. It's just something I wanted to make really clear because sometimes I throw in stuff and it is super, super hard. And it's just because I want to show you that whatever age you are, and you all know that I'm 57, whatever age you are, you can keep trying these things. You know, we don't always get there. Like today, I didn't get everything super strong, but I'm going to keep going and I'm going to keep working on it. And that, that's, what we, that's what we all do, isn't it? All right. So Linda Moon says, good morning, Linda. Thank you very, thank you so much for another wonderful session. I'm so grateful that you're still doing them. Well, thank you very much, Linda. Really glad to hear that. I'm really glad that you guys still like coming every Friday morning for our little session. Um, so Millie says, thank you so much. You're amazing. Big kiss to you. Thank you, Millie. You are too. Uh, Anne Butler says, had another go at the side lift with the leg through after your second demo. It's still tough. It is. It's definitely a tough one, uh, Anne, definitely. One to work on for us all, I think, isn't it? Uh, Moira Roberts says, thank you for your advice, Rachel. Really appreciate all you do. Best fitness instructor ever. Oh, bless you. I'm 71 and it's a lovely day in Aberdeen. Oh, that is wonderful. Well, thank you, Maura. And I think on that note, I'm going to say goodbye to you all because time's up. It's just gone 11. So thank you so much, everyone, for joining me today. Thanks again for all your donations for our pop you pill last week and your donations for me today because it's the donations on this session that uh, uh, enable me to be able to keep this session going. So thank you very much indeed. Uh, I'll be back same time next week with another new workout. So in the meantime, have a wonderful day, a super weekend and a fabulous week. And I will look forward to seeing you all same time next week. Take care. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.